Goldman Sachs picked sectors in China's mass consumer market and technology. Media and telecom as likely winners in the ongoing rebalancing in the world's second largest economy in the year ahead as the policy environment turns more accommodative. Our view is very clear. Kinger Lau, Goldman Sachs chief China equity strategist, told CNBC's Squawk Box Asia on Tuesday. We think the policy put has been exercised across the key policy cohorts. When it comes to monetary easing, fiscal policy stimulus, property market relaxation and quite importantly, the deregulation, in the industry tightening of the last few years, he said. A policy put refers more generally to betting on policy easing if the economy weakens. In this case, the Chinese central government has signaled its switch to a more supportive policy posture, even if it's refrained from aggressive support. After tranches of economic data earlier this year suggest the growth momentum in the Chinese economy was sputtering. Investors are looking to the third plenum of the 20th Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party, a meeting that's likely to happen before the end of this year, for more policy cues. With just under six weeks of the year remaining, the MSCI China and CSI 300 indexes are both poised for third straight annual losses. Goldman Sachs noted both mutual and hedge fund mandates globally are running with multi-year low allocations in Chinese stocks. Goldman Sachs argued that Chinese equities may be set for the first index gains in four years in 2024. Expecting MSCI China and CSI 300 to rise 12% and 15%, respectively, underpinned by an estimated earnings growth of about 10% and, moderate, valuation gains. Consensus earnings estimates look optimistic for 2024 and 2025, but an arguably bearish policy and or geopolitical outlook is embedded in the suppressed valuations pointing to a right-skewed return distribution if these concerns subside. Goldman Sachs strategists headed by Lau, wrote in their 2024 Outlook report released last week. The strategists said, however, there are opportunities in China's rebalancing toward sectors such as artificial intelligence and new infrastructure that offers greater enhancements economically, socially and environmentally. They are also positive on sectors that are important to China's national development objectives, such as batteries, new energy vehicles and renewable energy. In their latest Outlook paper, Goldman Sachs strategists upgraded the food and beverage sector to overweight from market weight and technology hardware sector to overweight from underweight. They believe tech hardware, which has seen close to a 40% cut in earnings in the last two years, could reverse the downtrend in 2024 on global restocking and specific product cycles.